everybody, this is Jen from Scrappy Posh and we are here with the Artistic Studio Creation Design Team Project. So head on over to ASCCraftSupplies.com or ASC Supplies on Etsy and get your goods. Um, this is the third video of this tutorial, so let's keep going. We are a little more than halfway through our book and what we're doing is making a trio of albums that match the trio of albums that I did for the Christmas time collection. So we're just duplicating these pages, which is the easiest way to <laughs> make albums. Um, so we're going to flip on over and we're just going to do here like a double page layout. I'll show you. It's going to go just like this. So it's super, super simple. And I think it makes it has a big impact. So basically, um, my pages are about four inches by six. So I want these to be just a little tiny bit shorter. So I cut them at four and a half by six. Or no, I'm sorry. I cut them at four by six and then scored them at a half inch. So four by six scored at a half inch. And I'll show you. Did I do that right? Nope, I did not do that right. I have to watch myself in my little folds because I always fold things wrong. So here. Hold it like this. And then all you do is glue it on either side and it opens up. So let's do that. Just the littlest things make the biggest impacts. Line this up with the outside. There we go. And we're doing the same over here. two pages done. Make sure my pages don't stick together and go on to the next page. Now the next page, this page we actually leave blank. This is probably the hardest page in the book to explain how to do and it's this diagonal flap pocket. Okay, next we're going to make this diagonal pocket. It's more simple than what you think. So the first thing we need to know is how wide we want it. And we want it, oh, I don't want it as wide as the paper, the page. So the page is four inches. Let's go with just a tiny bit under it. Let's do like three and seven eighths. So I'm going to cut my paper at I'm going to cut my paper an inch bigger at four and seven eighths. And you want it to be about twice as long as your pocket, by the way. So I have a full 11 inches by four and seven eighths. And then pick your angle and your height. So I don't want it to be six inches. Maybe you want it to be six inches. I don't. I want mine to be a little short. So we're going to cut it at about four and a half, which is going to be right here. Four and a half is somewhere over here. Your short side's going to be about three and three quarter. And pick your angle. That looks good to me. And cut. Okay. This is going to turn into your um, pocket. So set this aside. Now I want you to cut a half inch off the long side here. And then we're going to determine how high 
to cut this probably we want it just enough sticking up that we can slide something under there and I'll show you what I mean so the pocket doesn't go all the way up it is a full diagonal pocket here so I'm gonna say I probably want it cut if that's enough sticking up for you then you're gonna to want to cut this off so let's cut off about an inch and a half or let's do an inch and a quarter because I don't want to cut too much off it's easier to uh, cut a little more off if I don't like it so we're gonna cut it at an inch and a quarter so our pocket will stick up like about that much I like that so we're good this is our diagonal pocket let's show you how to put the rest of it together so this is going to be your flap score at a half inch since this isn't an even this is three and seven eighths or four and seven eighths I'm gonna flip it over we're gonna do it on this side score at a half inch and then this goes over score at a half inch I'm flipping this guy over and scored a half inch over here and the reason why I did that was because um, I have an eighth inch me measurement in there whoops I messed up my scoring there that's why I don't like scoring on this side of the board there we go all better okay scoreboard back now flap cut off this little angle here you don't have to I always do because it drives me nuts fold these sides in oh, no, fold these sides in there we go and there's your diagonal pocket. I'm going to cut, trim this off, which, like I said, you don't have to. And there you go. Diagonal pocket. What do you guys think about that? Is it just a lot easier than it seems? Um, now, on the original, I did it on this side, but... I already folded everything to do it for this side, so I may just do it for this side. I can always unfold and refold, but we'll just stick it over here. And if you wanted to cut your mats for this now while it's still in two pieces, you can. It's not necessary. I'll show you how to mat it too. Don't go over your fold. Here's your flap, your diagonal flap. Reinforce this. Okay. Make sure you seal the bottom. up with the outside edge that will bring more interest to your album than you think it's just a fun little element so there is the hardest part of the album the diagonal pocket don't get me wrong I filmed, filmed this four times before I got it to the point where it was easily explained <laughs> but it's easy it's just hard to explain Okay, so um, this was supposed to go on this page. This page was uh, a, di a horizontal pocket, but we already made the horizontal pocket, so I think I'll just skip it. Um, so the next page, we'll just leave this page blank. Next page, you have to have a blank page every once in a while, guys. The next page, I made a 3x4 card 
flippy thing. So that means that we want our page to be about three and a quarter by four and a quarter, and then you need the half inch. So we're gonna go four and three quarter by three and a quarter. And we're gonna score on the four and a quarter inch side. Or four and three quarter inch side, I'm sorry. And this would be the perfect size for a three by four journaling card. And this one is just like an upper flap. I still have to figure out if I'm distressing and what color I'm distressing because the Ephemera Queen is a very bright collection. And that's that. Now we have this cute little double pocket flip and it's actually the page itself. It's one of the ones that got cut um, that got cut short. So it measures uh, three inches. So we're going to make a three inch flap to accommodate this page. So I need a three and a half by six, or I'm sorry, yes, a three and a half by six. So we can score at a half inch. And we get our base page for the little pockets. And don't don't go all the way to the, the line there okay now we need to make two little pockets that are three inches each so I'm going to cut um, three by four two times And then we're going to score a half inch on each side on the four inch side. There's one three inch pocket. Oops. Stop doing that. And there's your second three inch pocket. And these we just glue on. Side by side. Start at the bottom because it's closer to me. I can see it better. I forgot to seal the bottom of this one. Oops. Now 
Okay. I've got to go back and seal the bottom of this. Not the best way to do it, but it shall work for all intents and purposes. Okay, so now we have a little double pocket here. I'll show you how it works. Maybe if I can find something to stick in it. These will stick right in here. And then they'll stick out, and that brings a lot of interest too. And then after we mat, we'll punch them with the little, I used a, I used a Stampin' Up punch on this one, but we'll probably just use like a little circle punch. Okay. There's that page done. So now I have a three by four card flap with a horizontal pocket on the back. So, we're doing a three by four. We want it to be um, four and an eighth inches or four and a quarter inches long, which is why this page sticks out just a tiny bit bigger than all the rest of them. So if you don't like that, we can always cut down the three by four card. Let's do that because I see already that this one's getting a little bit of wear and tear on it because it sticks out further than everything else. So we'll just make it four. So we're going to cut our three and a quarter inch by four and a half. I, think I have, this should do. Three and a quarter inch by four and a half. And we're going to score it on the four inch side. And then we need a four inch pocket on the back. So I'm gonna find a scrap, maybe a little wider than that. How about this one? Um, and it's we want it to cut at five inches. This one happens to be about two inches. So we're cutting it to five. And then we're gonna score a half inch on both sides. little pockets to tuck things in. Reinforce our folds. I don't need this. And this one goes here. I want to make sure this fits. Yeah, it fits. <laughs> Sometimes I don't cut what I think I cut. And it ends up being totally wrong. And this one you can put wherever you want. I'm going to stick it right in the middle. There we go. And then put your flap on. Don't forget to seal the bottom like I did before. You got your little pocket, flat pocket. Make sure it does not cover the fold here. Okay. A little three by four flat pocket. Almost done, guys. Um, the next page here, I left plain. I did put a little tuck spot so we can do that with some cut aparts. And then this is a really tall pocket, and I put a folder in there that you could potentially cover the pocket and leave it if, you know, you had something on here. But I like to look at this guy. He's my, like, favorite Santa from this collection anyways. So... We're going to put a big, tall pocket right here. And I don't have any scraps 
So I'm going to cut into the last piece of paper for this album, which I didn't cut into very many new papers, by the way. I think I only cut into, oh, probably six after I did the pages because I used scraps for everything. Double check my measurements, a four inch page, and we're going to make them really tall. Let's make them five inches tall so there's only like an inch sticking up here. So I'm going to cut it to five by five. And this would be another good place if you were going to punch an edge, you definitely could. And it doesn't matter which side we score on because it's square. page guys so while I'm gluing this down I'm gonna say don't forget to seal the bottom of the pocket but um, we're gonna do now you guys have everything that you need to know to make this album the rest of it is just matting so you can definitely um, have fun with that all by yourself the uh, the box that goes with this set is, I'll show you, I mean, I'll show you here real quick. That's kind of going over the corner here, making it round, so I want to give it an extra minute to dry. Okay, there we go. That's the last page, and then I didn't do anything on the front and back. So, you're ready. You All you have to do is decorate this, and I'll show you what to do with your fussy cut images if you want to you know jump the gun and do it before my next week's video you just fussy cut something or even cut at length and measure your albums they should be about an eighth of an inch bigger on the on the flat you don't want to go around a corner it should be about an eighth of an inch bigger so you should be able to cut them at two inches if you made the two inch spines by the the height and then you just lay them all in a row so you can see you know what you have and this doesn't have to be your middle album actually I don't even think it's gonna be my middle album mostly because I have this huge streak here that I have to cover up and that will give you your album spines then on your box if you have a chipboard box like I do, and it's not black, if you have a black one, you don't have to do this at all. You can either take a marker or some black acrylic paint and just go over the edges. Because you're going to mat this. Got a fuzzy. Because you're going to mat this with paper. Your other option is if you have a black washi tape or a washi tape that will uh, complement this, you can just wrap the corners in washi. You just wrap it right around and run it down. I'm just going to keep it simple and do this black marker. And it's just on the edges because all but an eighth inch is going to be covered. So you want to do it here. In here okay so I'm just I'm just giving you this so that you can finish the albums up before next week if you want but next week we're going to decorate the box um, and the spines and maybe get into decorating the albums maybe we'll finish them I don't know but okay I just wanted to give you that heads up so that you can work ahead if you want and yeah there is the finished kind of what the finished product's going to look like and I hope you come back next week to at least you know craft along with me keep me company while I'm matting um, and doing all the decorations which is the fun part right so again this is an artistic studio creation design team project head on over to ASCSupplies.com I'm sorry ASCSupplies on Etsy or, or ASCSupplies.com 
and get 10% off your regular purchased items with Scrapping Posh 10. Get all your Graphic 45 goodies. Get your paper stash mat stacks that you can use for your albums and get your chipboard. I use 52 weight chipboard on this, but they have all the way up to 90, which is super thick and harder to cut. So, all right, you guys, please comment, like, and subscribe if you like these tutorials and if you want more. And leave me a comment if you have any questions. We'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.